So I've just been dropped off at the little island um, next to, well, a part of Vanilla Balabu. Um, and I'm camping here for the night. Turns out the water comes up a lot closer than I'd expected. Uh, and the aim of this evening is to set the camera up for a uh, time lapse through the night of the stars, which is what I've been meaning to for a long time and haven't got around to doing. Uh, our boat is moored just over there, so not far away, but this is a very small island with absolutely nothing on it apart from thick jungle like this. It's about probably about half five in the evening. We've just been over at one of the villages. Um, they invited us over for a carver drinking session, so just been chilling. Yeah, I'm excited. I hope hope it goes well. Get some long exposure out. This is how close the water is coming to my tent, which is uh, brilliant. Might end up having to move it back a bit. So I have the, my camera set up there on the beach. Um, looking at the stars, there's my trial picture, which is cool. Uh, the settings I've gone for. Ah, our um, shutter speed is open for 30 seconds, f4 and ISO is 1600 um, and it takes a beautiful picture, the night sky is incredible. Uh, I'm going to leave this on a sort of 10 second um, interval and uh, yeah we'll see, see how we go. The camera is rolling out there, I'm in my tent now, uh, I'm just going to let it keep rolling until the uh, until the battery is gone. And I'm gonna change the setup and have it from pointing to where it is right now and change it so we've got some trees and a bit of a bit of depth. So in the meantime I'm just gonna launch out on this huge bag of pasta I got and uh, just I guess put my head down. So I've just woken up I've been woken up by uh, something feeling strange underneath me. <laughs> Turns out the tide has come way back in. My tent is as far back on the beach as it can go. <laughs> and uh, so here's the entrance. And as I look out, there's the water creeping in. Uh, so let's hope it, it doesn't come too much higher. So the water is coming up higher. <laughs> My technique is to lift the tent up whenever a slightly larger wave like this comes. <laughs> Stop it from coming in the bottom of the tent. I can feel it beneath. It's not coming through the bottom, which is good. But um, the waterproof bit <laughs> doesn't cover a great deal. But it's going strong, it's going strong. And here are the two finished time lapses. Woo!